Question, how can I learn telepathy? Is it a skill that can be learned or discovered when we progress as a soul? Many thanks. I really enjoy the opportunity to talk about topics that can help people empower themselves. Thank you. You have a number of senses. There's actually more of them than you think, but the classic ones are touch, sight, hearing, smell and taste. There's a major sixth sense that you are overlooking, namely your energy sense. One obvious way in which you are using your energy sense is that it allows you to feel that some places have a nice atmosphere and some places or people feel uncomfortable. Okay, that doesn't sound very interesting yet. It becomes more interesting when you realize that thoughts are a form of energy. Your energy sense allows you to perceive the content of your own as well as other people's thoughts. This is what you think of as mind reading. Siblings and married people can often complete each other's sentences, which they are able to do via their energy sense, which is well attuned to the other person. It is interesting to note that every thought in your mind is a thought from somewhere, it may be from yourself or it may be from another person. Hence the sentence, don't believe everything you think. Some sounds that you hear are produced by you, other sounds you hear are sounds that are produced by other people. Similarly, some thoughts you think are produced by you, some thoughts you think are produced by other people. You are just perceiving thoughts and sometimes falsely thinking that you produce the thought. Time and space are not barriers to this. If you stand on a high place, your energy sense might pick up the energy from a person in the past who genuinely wanted to jump. Then you falsely think, ha, huh, but I don't want to jump, why am I thinking about that? The mistake you make here is that you don't realize that this thought actually comes from a person in the past who really did want to jump. It's not your thought. It is their thought, you are just perceiving it. So, every human with a soul has repeatedly read other people's minds. Most people are just not conscious of that. You're all mind readers, while being unaware of that. This is one of the reasons why I have repeatedly said that you are all so much more powerful than you realize. Telepathy is just consciously sending energy or thoughts to another person. If that person is spiritually advanced enough, they can receive the message via their energy sense. It's relatively easy to occasionally and accidentally perceive someone else's thought. It's quite hard to intentionally perceive someone else's thought. However, if someone else intentionally sends energy or a thought to you, then perceiving that has a moderate difficulty. One way of channeling an ET is just having the ET send energy or thoughts to the channeler. One way of being a medium is just having a transitioned or dead person, send energy or thoughts to the medium. The technique is the same and in both cases the requirement is that the channeler or medium is advanced enough that they are able to perceive energy or thoughts that are sent to them. And that they can distinguish their own thoughts from the thoughts that are being sent to them, hence a quiet mind, self-knowledge and discernment are very useful. The confusing thing here is that your own thought, other people's thoughts, ETs, transition people, archangels, etc. all just sound like your own inner voice. That's because your own inner voice is just your own energy sense. However, spiritually advanced people can sense that an archangel's message may be spoken in their inner voice, but their words carry a different energy. If a Pleiadian friend of mine sends me a telepathic message, then he doesn't use his name to identify himself. I will simply instantly know who he is, via the energy that is contained in those words. Learning telepathy with other humans is quite hard, unless you happen to have a spiritually advanced master nearby. For reference, our channeler is an excellent channeler, but he's not able to consciously mind read and he can't telepathically communicate with the vast majority of humanity. To learn telepathy, the following things are much easier. Think or say, heart, what do you think I should do today? This is requesting that your heart telepathically sends you thoughts or energy, which it can and will do. Then it's up to you to be able to receive that. Only thoughts, feelings or pictures that arise immediately come from your heart. Or do the same things as the last point, but then ask a crystal, Crystal, how are you doing? Crystals are excellent telepaths. Yes, they are conscious and intelligent. If these things fail, it's best to keep developing spiritually and try again after a while. At some point, you will just succeed at this without having to really practice it. Any earthling with a soul can learn this, and if you are reading this, you certainly have a soul. If you succeed at any of these things, congratulations, you are able to receive telepathic messages. At that point, you can think, 
Archangel Michael, what do you think I should do today? Or ask him any other question you like. Or you can start directly talking to Tunya or me. Once you are at that level, we would caution you to start setting some boundaries against potentially malevolent beings trying to contact you. For example, you can say, I do not consent to be contacted by any beings other than those beings for which it is in accordance with the highest divine blueprint that they contact me. I am asking wise and benevolent beings, forces and aspects of existence, including my guardian angels, to help and protect me. If you say this once, it will provide lifelong, though subtle, protection. We really enjoyed talking about this. Thank you. If you have any other questions or if you desire clarification on some points, please feel free to reach out again. Your star brother. Hakan.